Hey, this is Lex from What the Craft. Today, we're going to make a bag with a zipper, aka a zipper pouch. Step one, cut your fabric. You'll need four rectangles for your bag, two for the outside and two for the lining. My example is a nice size for a wristlet clutch, but you can use the same technique for any size you want. My outer and lining fabrics measure 9.5 inches wide and 6.5 inches long. I'm including a little wristlet strap on my bag, but this is optional. You can skip the strap or add a different style altogether. It's up to you. In this case, my strap measures 12 inches by 3 inches. And lastly, we need a zipper. The zipper should be at least 3 inches longer than the width of your bag. In my case, my zipper should be 13 inches long or longer. Let's prepare a strap. I'm going to fold the strap in half, hot dog style, with the wrong sides together. Then I'll press it with an iron. Now we have a nice fold line right down the middle. I want to fold the raw edge in so it lines up with that center fold line. Then we press again. After that, we repeat for the other side. Fold to the center and press. Now we fold the strap down the original center fold line so the raw edges are completely encapsulated. Then we pin. Sew the edge closed using a straight stitch about 1 an inch from the edge. Fold the finished strap in half and secure with a pin. Now we can move on to the bag. Grab one lining piece, and I made the mistake of choosing a lining fabric that's the same on the wrong side and the right side, but place your lining fabric right side up. Next comes the zipper, also right side up. And then one of our outer pieces, right side down. Line up the top edges of the three pieces, and note that I've offset the zipper about one inch from the pull. Now pin through all three layers, and then we'll sew them together using a zipper foot and a straight stitch. Now we can open it up and press the fabric away from the zipper with your iron. Now I like to mark where the edges of my bag hit the zipper so I can make sure I get everything lined up right on the other side. Now we assemble and pin the other side the same way we did before. Lining right side up, zipper right side up, outer fabric right side down. Sew it together, open it up and admire your handiwork, and then press the seam. At this point, I like to top stitch that seam along the outer fabric edge, but this is optional. It's important at this point to unzip the zipper about halfway, not all the way. You want to pull somewhere in the middle of the bag. Now you want to pull the two outer fabric pieces together. Line them up right sides together and pin. Then you'll repeat the same thing with the lining pieces. And I almost forgot to pin my strap in. You want to keep it about 1.5 inches away from the zipper. Once you have everything pinned together, you want to pay special attention to the zipper. It should be folded in half with the fold towards the lining. Starting just past the edge of the zipper, sew the outer pieces together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You want to stop and start stitching before you touch the zipper to make sure you don't actually sew any part of the zipper tape into the seam. Now you can sew the lining together. Again, don't sew over the zipper, just start sewing just at the outer edge of it. When you sew up the lining, make sure you leave a 3 to 4 inch gap in the stitching at the bottom. Being careful not to ding up your good scissors, trim the excess zipper from both sides. Now you can trim your seam allowances if necessary, and make sure you clip your corners. Now we can turn the bag right side out. Reach into the gap you left in the lining and unzip the zipper the rest of the way. Grab the outer layer and pull it through. Once you've got the bag turned right side out, grab a poke and stick and get your corners nice and crisp. Back to the gap on the lining. Make sure the raw edges are tucked inside and give it a quick press. Then pin it closed and stitch it shut. Some people like to hand stitch so the stitching is hidden, but I figure it's the lining. Who cares? Especially if you use a thread that matches the lining, no one will notice the stitching. Ha, ah, we're so close I can smell it. Tuck the lining into the bag and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we're done. <sighs> Metal zippers are such a pain. Suffice to say, I eventually get the stupid thing unstuck. So behold, our finished zipper pouch. Now go make 10 more because you can put all sorts of goodies in them. They make perfect makeup bags or pencil cases. Mine happens to be the perfect size for my nook. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY tutorials and check out whatthecraft.com for more tips, tricks, and kick-ass sewing patterns.